This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal, and today is Friday, October 2nd, 2020. The title of this rant is uh, The Arrogance of the Privileged. So yes, Trump has COVID. We all know that now. Uh, besides Hope Hicks, possibly in, um, uh, several others within the White House. As time goes on, we'll see. We'll see how many other people they may have spread it to. Um, this is a 100% clear indication that the virus is an equal opportunity infector. When it has an opportunity, it's going to infect you. And the people in the White House made that opportunity possible because of their arrogance. You know, not only the, you know, Trump at the top, but everyone else. I mean, they were at the Cleveland Clinic for the uh, uh, debate and all the Trump people came in with their masks on. They sat down and they took them off. And the Cleveland Clinic, which is one of the great hospital systems or whatever medical research places in the United States, asked them to keep their masks on and they didn't. Again, the arrogance of these people running around, not taking this thing seriously. Uh, even Trump saying the other day that we've, you know, we've we've gone past this. We're 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 heading home. You know, uh, it's it's seriously. Let's just say incomprehensible to me, you know, how terrible these people are. They, these are not uh, intelligent people. I just call them privileged scum because that's what they are. Now, I only want to bring up three quick things about this as a lot of things are going to be changing very quickly. But let's just go that Republicans are now going to work double time, triple time, whatever else you want to call it, overtime to make sure this guy gets elected. Uh, and, you know, because he's their scumbag. And uh, whatever means that they have, we know there's shenanigans right now being tried in the Republican legislatures in South Carolina, Pennsylvania. Uh, the governor of Texas has tried to limit uh, limit the ballot box number of ballot boxes in each county. So they're trying desperately to do whatever they can, uh, whether it's keeping the ballot boxes low, whether it's some type of thing by the legislature, whether it's voter intimidation, uh, whether it's you know the other types of things you know, when the, uh, the the polling is open, etc. Uh, so uh, they're working overtime to get this guy elected. The second thing is, uh, because of the job numbers this morning, uh, it is pretty obvious that this recovery has stalled. It has not gone back up and it is not going to go back up because it's been inching back up and it is basically stalled. There are still between, what, 15 and 20 million people still unemployed. They should uh, vote on the HEROES Act today, all 3.4 trillion. And if they don't do that, because obviously there has to be a win-win everywhere, half of that, and but just half also the time that it can be, that, it's, that it has to be distributed at. Uh, because um, people are hurting. Uh, and we also know that the jobs numbers may go up even more in October because all of the relief money uh, was expended by the end of September, especially for the airline industry, and they c c uh, uh, announced heavy layoffs uh, yesterday. And the last thing <laughs> is... Uh, you know, I end, I've been watching the TV and everyone says, oh, we're hoping and praying. No, I'm not hoping and praying for this guy. I hope he gets a taste of his own medicine. I hope he reaps what he sows. Now, am I sitting there saying he'll want him to die? No. But Boris Johnson, you know, had it for two weeks, then he went into ICU. Maybe this guy would have, needs to go into the hospital, needs to have lung problems, needs to be, you know, be a long hauler so that it has lingering effects on him for a long period of time to see how terrible this is and what he has done to this country. Because millions of people have sacrificed a whole heck of a lot, a lot more than he has to try and not be infected and he or catch this virus and he just did whatever he wanted to do and yes I think he should pay a price for this in terms of his health um, and again let's just remember it is his arrogance it is his administration it is the Republicans arrogance that has basically destroyed this economy destroyed lives people have died because of their arrogance businesses have failed because of their arrogance and I hope 
that he suffers from this.